There is nobody who can be successful consistently in this world without tenacity. You have to embrace pain. It's part of the process. You know, I've watched interviews of top athletes and they say something that people don't talk about it. There is a level you get to in professional sports where you live perpetually with pain. Are you aware? Most of your heroes have pain somewhere. You know, I saw a picture, an x-ray of all the places Kobe Bryant had done operation. He was in boats for saying, does the pain ever stop? Harry Terry also did an interview where he said he was constantly in pain. There is a level of greatness. You must accept pain as part of the process. I saw a very, very beautiful illustration. It says, see yourself as a pencil. For a pencil to be useful, it has to be sharpened. Isn't that true? And just imagine that a pencil had feelings. Sharpening will be very painful, but you cannot be useful without it. You can't write, you can't contribute without pain. What if you embraced it as part of life? There is something we Christians do. We're always praying against pain. But what if you came to the mentality of God that my definition of victory is not a life void of pain, but a life in spite of pain? You look at your future and you say, there is no in the devil's arsenal that can bring me down. That's what the Bible means when it says greater is he that is in you. God has peeped into your future and he's saying nothing will bring you down. There will be no pain that will be terminal.